Hello everybody. In today's Touch Designer tutorial, we would actually learn how to create this 2D vector artwork. Now, it's one of the simplest design and it's very, very easy to create. So that's, that's the beautiful part about it. But one of the most important thing that I would want to bring it in here is about the flawless motion that you actually come across. Uh, the kind of uh, the flow motion that we say, uh, the movement of each line item that you see here is just so engaging and so immersive. It's a very beautiful art piece to be created um, and put up as a part of an exhibition or um, it, can, it can even just go as a part of a, uh, a generative artwork. So yeah, it's very easy to be created and um, uh, we'll see how different versions can also be created as a part of this tutorial. But before we go to that, I actually wanted to bring you guys to my Patreon page. As you can see, there are like a lot of posts that I put up. Um, I've got a few patrons as well, but I would definitely, definitely like, you know, if you guys can become my Patreon and can support me, it literally means a lot. Trust me, I'm telling you. And um, it's, it's like... A, a literal sense of appreciation, a token of appreciation to the time and uh, the efforts that I actually put it up uh, as a part of creating these things. So yeah, I mean, there is there's so much that you would actually get to see. There are so many exclusive items that I create as a part of my Patreons. So um, you definitely, definitely, you know, would have a lot of good uh, content coming in from me, which I generally don't put it up um, uh, with uh, source files or tutorials uh, on YouTube. So yeah, if you can please support me on Patreon, if you become my Patreon, that would be a wonderful thing that I could, I could get it from you. All right, so let's get going. First thing first, let's clear the canvas. Now, the very first thing that I need after clearing canvas is my SOP, uh, which is GridShop. Now, in this grid shop, all I am interested is for 50 rows and 50 columns. Okay, we'll see why it is oh, 50, but you can increase it as well. But for now, we'll just go with 50. Uh, let's go no. Let's convert that into chop, and which is what is going to help us. All right, so this is done. Uh, on the other side, I need a line. So let's go to SOP, let's go to line, and let's make this line as 0.1 long, okay? So this is good, let's have null. Let's go around and get geometry. Then we have camera. So let's get camera here. Let's get material, which is constant. Oh, we'll use constant for now. Oh, we can use line material, but I just don't want to make things complicated for now. So we'll just go with constant as material. Okay. Okay. So this is done. Let's have SOP. SOP gets connected to null. And now this null is going to help us to get the instancing driving. Okay, so let's go to geometry, enable the instancing. Let's have a null three, and we can actually have a default operator as a part of our instancing. So null three is gonna be a default operator. We have got TX and TY, so let's go around TX, TY, and TZ, done. Now, let's enable our render uh, network, so render. Then we have uh, null, done. So we can see lines coming in, okay? Okay, now let's go and have uh, feedback. So we have feedback, we have blur, we have got level, we have got transform, and then we have got composite, then we have got RGB key, and that's it. So this is what we need as a part of that. Let's bring them down. Let's make it neat and beautiful. Let's connect our feedback. Let's have composite. All right. I'm going to have operation as add for now. Level, I'll go to post 
cap and make it as 0.94 for now. Now again, this can literally be changed at any point of time. Okay, so there's no problems at all. So this is how I look at my artwork for now. Let's disable the blur. So we'll make it simple for now. We go to render. Oh, first thing first is let's change the resolution is from 1280720 to 1024 by 1024. So this is a perfect square that we are getting. Instead of 8-bit fixed, let's make it as 32-bit float, which makes it sharper. Okay, now let's go to camera. Currently, the Z distance has been set as 5. Let's reduce it by 4, 3, 2, and 1. Uh, we can go to 1 for now. Done. And we can just have... So this is, this is how the layout is looking at this point of time. Now let's go to line and reduce the line size a little more. Okay. So as and when we do it, now this is a perfect line size that we need as a part of our, our work. Okay. Now the other thing that we could do is we can also play around with camera. Let's try and... Um, zoom out to see what could be the perfect spot that we should be using. Okay, let's try to zoom out. So it's 1.1, 1.2. Okay, so 1.3. So maybe we can have 1.25 for now. Yeah, this looks perfect. Okay, so this is good. Um, now, you would be wondering, where are the motions coming in? We have got instancing, but where are motions, right? So in order to get motions, uh, this is where a good thing comes in, which is noise. So noise is going to be used as our motion uh, generator. But for that to happen, you have to go to resolution and make it as 50 by 50 um, noise. And the pixel format has to be 32 bit. Now, as you can see, this is very, very complex and um, not like it has got too much of noise in it. So we go and change the period from one to four. Done. This looks decent. Now let's go to transform and let's make uh, the movement enabled. So that's going to be ABS time dot seconds into point one. OK, so this looks nice. Done. Now, what we really want to do is we want to get this image converted into SOP2. Now, that can very well be done by a simple conversion into TOP2. Done. So this is good. I don't need RGBA because RGB all are same, considering this is a black and white image, right? But alpha, we don't need at this point of time. So for now, I can do away with just R and I just, you know, I just don't need G, B, and A. So remove G, remove B, and remove A. Done. Once we do that, the second thing that we want to do is instead of, now you can see crop, it is just going for a cropping of one row. We don't need one row. We need full image. So the moment you do full image, you see all the possible uh, line items for the individual rows that forming up the entire noise that we see on our screen. OK, so this is good. But one more operation that needs to be done is shuffle. So let's have shuffle enabled and the uh, method that we are going to use is sequence uh, all samples. So this is it. Now, once this is done, I am going to use a math and we will change this um, and we'll provide a rotation. So currently, if you look at it, the range is just from minus 0.5 to 1.5 or something. But what we're going to say, multiply it by 360. Done. So whatever number that we're going to get, it is just going to bring us or get that into a proper rotation. Once this is done, let's try and rename this. So we go and we say rename. OK, and we rename this to R. 
done. Now, since null3 are as default operator, let's go and use merge. And we are going to merge the R into the final uh, null3 operator. Now, this has come. Let's go to geo. And we have the rotation. All the rotation here we are just looking at is rotation of Z. And the moment we do that, the motion starts coming in. Now, this is looking perfect. I mean, this is what we wanted as a part of our output. But as you can see, you would notice that um, there is too much of um, too much of level which has applied. Now we can try and reduce the level. So let's make it as um, 0.9. So yes, this is what we wanted. Now the other thing that we can try definitely is increase the length of the line. So currently it is sitting at 0 0.01. We can slowly, slowly try and increase it and we'll see how beautiful the output is coming in, right? And which is what, um, oh, as I said earlier, right? I mean, this is a very simple way of generating the 2D vector field. The other thing that we definitely can give a try is we can reduce the opacity from 0.9 to 0.8 to make it look um, well, much more visible, like there's no uh, blurry effect uh, uh, that, I mean, pretty much we have avoided uh, by reducing the opacity. So um, the other option that you can try definitely is increase the line um, length from 0 0.02 to little more and see how well the output is coming in. And which is exactly what we wanted to achieve. So as you can see how simple, how easy this entire 2D artwork can be created. And uh, it is just phenomenal that how this uh, flow of motion can literally engage people as a part of an art piece or uh, you can just upload it on Instagram or whatever you guys want to do, right? The other thing that you definitely have a chance to do is you can play around with noise. So currently, uh, we are sitting at 0.5 and offset is 0.5 as well. Um, let's go and change the harmonics. So we change harmonics from 2 to um, 8 and you'll see how jittery effect it actually brings in, right? So let's bring it down to 1 and the moment we make it 1, you would actually see a uh, lot smoother animation coming in, right? Uh, the other thing that we have an option is the exponent. So let's, currently it's sitting at one. Let's increase it. And with the increase of exponent, you actually get to see the movement in a very prominent way. So yeah, this is one more good option that you can try. So we can again reduce it down. And if you reduce it down further, you definitely see a, a, a diversion line altogether. And this is exactly syncing up to how our image is looking out to be. So this is one good thing that you can actually give it a try uh, and do that. The other thing that we definitely have in our hand is period. So currently the period is five. We can change it to period value of eight and you'd say more oh, fluid and smooth animation. But what if you bring down the period from, um, from eight to let's say two? The moment you make it two, you'd see a different design altogether. So this is again, like there are so many different options we actually get as a part of creating this 2D vector. But in a nutshell, uh, there's a lot can be done and it's completely against, um, uh, against how and well we try to feed the values of noise and how well the outputs are popping up. But yeah, this is something that you can try. Um, then there is harmonic gain, harmonics. 
So again, we increase the harmonics and it changes the value. Um, you can reduce the period from two to one and you'd say much more deeper um, and, and blocked uh, type of values here. Or like the formation of the vector field. Um, for now, let's just make it as number three, so it looks decent. Then the other thing that we definitely have in our hand is playing around with uh, the time. So the movement is fluid for now because the multiplication is 0.1, but if we introduce 0.5, we'll see much more um, strong movement and it, it really makes it very live and it gives that 3d look um which maybe you know or which maybe is the part of our um requirement the other thing that you can try is you can go and pick up line and increase the line from 0.03 to 0.04 and you'd see a different artwork altogether but yes there is a lot there's a lot can be done uh, just um, how well we want to uh, make it and yeah it's just about it so this is something I wanted to show as a part of our uh, tutorial today and I hope you enjoyed it I hope you liked how the simple way of creating um, some of the beautiful art pieces uh, through Touch Designer. And again, um, the objective is whatever I have learned so far, I try to bring it out in a most flawless way, most simplest way, so that all of you can learn Touch Designer and uh, uh, there's a lot can be done uh, with, um, with all of these simple options. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, please do tag me when you post your artwork it literally brings a lot of smile to me and uh, it makes me happy that okay well my tutorials are helping somebody out to learn something really new and create something really fascinating stuff so well i'm just signing off from sydney at this point of time and i will come back with some more beautiful and wonderful tutorial for all of you well, that is it from my end, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.